Hey, what's going on guys? Sean here, living the corporate pilot life. Most people jack up cars, we jack, jack up airplanes. This thing was a lot of fun to jack up, first time I've ever been part of the process, so, uh, so something pretty cool, new for me today. But uh, not what I wanted to show you guys, just a little bonus. What I did want to show you guys was the gear safety pins on the Hawker. Uh, gear safety pins are something that we take very seriously around here. The reason for them is when the gear is down, it's being held down by hydraulic pressure created by the engines shut the engines off and you lose that hydraulic pressure and all of a sudden it's possible that the gear could collapse. So when the engines are shut down, we use mechanical pins to actually hold the gear down to prevent them from coming, uh, coming up on accident. Where this is really an issue is when the aircraft is being towed around. Out here on the ramp, the uh, maintenance guys and line personnel tow airplanes around on a regular basis, moving them around from one hangar to another, from one spot to another on the ramp. So we always wanna make sure that the gear pins are installed certainly before they uh, move the airplanes with a tug. So let me crawl under here and show you what the pins look like. All right, so I'm under the wing of the Hawker right now. It's a lot easier right now because it's up on jack stands. You can see it's, it's a couple inches off the ground here and the, the strut's fully extended. So it's usually about, I don't know, eight inches or so lower than this, making it very convenient for me right now. But this is the pin that we're talking about. This is the gear safety pin for the Hawker. Show you guys what it looks like here. Just a little pin, got a button here, it helps us uh, take it in and out. Um, but that's it, pretty simple little, uh, little device, but it's very critical to making sure this gear doesn't collapse. Uh, the way it works is it just slides into this little hole right here. Boom, locked in place, good to go. Uh, so every time we land, we're gonna put these things in, but then every time we take off, we gotta make sure to take them out prior to take off. Because if you take off with these still in, you're gonna take off, it'll take off just fine, positive rate, gear up, bring the handle up, nothing's gonna happen. This thing's gonna lock it in place and the gear won't come up. So it has happened before, never to me, thankfully, hopefully it never does. Uh, a lot of people have different methods to uh, prevent that from happening to them. You know, some people leave the gear pins laying out on the, on the floor to make sure both pilots recognize that they've been pulled. Everybody's got their own little mojo how to make sure that that doesn't happen. Um, but at the end of the day, they just need to be pulled out before takeoff. Otherwise, you're gonna come back in to land and it's gonna be pretty embarrassing. Um, but also, the more critical part of it is to make sure that they go in before the tug moves the airplane. Uh, if a tug hooks up to the nose of this airplane and the gear pins have not been installed, it's not guaranteed, but it's possible that the gear could collapse as soon as that tug starts to move it, especially if it makes a turn, it could collapse one of these main gear inboard. So that's a problem. Uh, everybody, again, has their own little method to prevent that from happening. Personally, the way I do it is I keep that parking brake set until these things go in. That way, if, the, if I haven't put these in, if I, let's say I forget, and the tug hooks up to the front of the airplane, uh, he can't move the plane because the parking brake is set. So once I put these in, release the parking brake, then it's good to go for the tug. Um, it's just my way of preventing ever having that gear collapse when the, uh, the tug pulls the airplane away. Um, we keep these flags on them. I don't know that I've ever seen pins without having flags attached. Nothing says you have to, but it sure makes it easier. If you see those flags waving around in the wind before you go to take off, it's gonna stand out a, a lot easier than without the flag. So it certainly makes a big difference for us. But that's it, pretty simple little device. Uh, but uh, again, very critical to the operation of these aircraft. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, learned something a little bit new perhaps. Give me that thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you on the next Tech Tuesday. Keep living the corporate pilot life.